This, this is a tool that you know, Zebra provides. First step that we did was to create the label using this tool. Which is really nice. It's it's sort it's of a, a painter. it's a painter. It's it's a painter exactly. And you lay out your all your elements. But one one thing is unique with the with this particular type of barcode, the GS one one two eight, is that you get these application codes. I won't get too much into this, Marty, because it's really not. But these are different identifiers that you can define. And then what happens is is the program itself creates the required barcode. It's like a nice painter to their ZPL language. Tool. Absolutely. And, it, and, Absolutely. It, and it's a great thing when you're trying to get going on this, that you can act in this mode because you, you at least can focus on your target output and exactly. get oriented. Mm -hmm. So once you've laid it out, it's very simply, there's an option that, that they call print to file. So what they're going to do is they're going to take this design and they're going to mm -hmm. basically generate the ZPL code. And then you specify default, it's a PRN file. So we'll just save that here in this folder. That's that part of the design work. Here's the PRN file. I'm just going to drag and drop. So that's what okay. you end up from mm. the from the software. All right. A couple steps you have to do here to get it sort of ready is these lines up here at the top. These are just sort of printer commands. Okay. Uh, so these can be removed. Okay. Because really your code starts with the XA. That ah, this is the, the start, and then the XZ is the end. Got it. Of your ZPL code. And then we, I'm going to go ahead and save this mm -hmm. as a ZPL. And that's, a, that's a raw. So I could actually send that to my printer. I would literally get this label. So now what we need to do now is we need to build our CRE profile. Because we want to, we want to, impl we want to integrate this into uh, NetSuite. Because uh, you can see, if you look at the file, you can see some of our data elements here. Here's our yep. date. Here's yep. our rev. Yep. Which we kind of hard-coded. Looks like, uh, like FD almost looks like field data or something. Nailed it. Is we're going to go ahead and create, I have a sample here. This is basically what ends up looking, this is basically my XML file that's going to be attached to the CRE profile. So basically recognize this is trim path where I'm getting all my field variables. And down here, which is the same code here, this code here is basically this here, but what I did is I just kind of cleaned it up so it's a little more readable because all so for yourself, so it's easy for you to read it because you're building this, right? Right, this exactly. template. It doesn't matter it's on the same line as long as the sequence is right. Right, right. White space, other than uh, white space is usually ignored. You can format this any way you like. From here, we go to our, our XML, which basically includes our, our, our trim path uh, code. So, Looks like you have a little bit of little variables and a little bit of program logic. Variables, uh, like for instance, if we look at the label, you see you've got your your lot image, yep. which is which is this line here. Yep. Uh, that's your code 64, but it's compressed. It's actually a compressed format. Yep. You've got other things. Here's your expiration date, which is which is down here. So basically, you just take all the data elements and you turn them into variables. Yep. Basically, you're just converting this, the, the raw ZPL into like a nice trim path XML file. Well, this is easy to understand. And the, yeah. power, the power is that that painter helped you get out all the more difficult stuff to understand to give the you a head start. Uh, I actually went through and, and, and learned what all these different oh, you got a commands cheat sheet. are. Yeah, cheat sheet. The way labels work is that it's like a coordinate system. The mm -hmm. top corner here is zero, zero. Mm -hmm. And depending upon how many how many dots you have per inch, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. this might be, let's say this is an inch and there's uh, 200 dots per inch. So this mm -hmm. would be zero, zero, and this would be it's 200. It's a pure grid. It's a it's pure a grid, grid. Exactly. It's a grid. And it's, yeah. So it's the, based on the quality of the printer, the size of the label, the density, you're really in a coordinate system. You're in a coordinate system, yeah. Mm -hmm. The next step is really would be just to create your, your CRE. I'll bring this up real quick, yep. kind of popping screens real quick. No worries. Uh, Basically, you build your CRE, and then if you look at the ZPL file, it's it's exactly what we what we just looked at here. Yep, makes sense. And there it is, and then from there, this is an example. We have a work order that we're using, and I put a little test button here. And once that's wired up correctly, click this button, and this is what this is what the end user eventually sees. We generates. got we got to get this to the printer. Got to get this to the printer. So this is what they end up seeing. If you end up with this type of look and feel. And from here, basically, it's just a print operation. And this is this is the other piece that has to be sort of wired up is that you're basically outputting this to your printer, but you're feeding it into a generic text only driver. Select that particular printer, click print. Oh, I hear it. 
generates it. And then what you end up with, I, I create a little screen capture. This is what you end up with. So nice. this is what the output, yeah, this is really cool. And it, and it knew to do five because you had the print quantity in the whole thing. Right. I had some logic in here that if it's- For how many I, you I, need. Yeah, I turned debug on, which gives me five. Otherwise, this nice. would turn out like 1,500. <laughs> 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 this is the end result. I mean, it's clean. It's, it's nice. It's really um, clean. 